Hi friends, it's Mrs. Tucker again. Okay, with our new story, The Ugly Vegetables, we are going to start talking about something called proper nouns. Now, we have been talking about nouns already, and we know that a noun is a person, a place, a thing, or an animal, and those are common nouns. It could be any person, place, thing, or animal. Today we're going to start talking about proper nouns. So before we get started, let me show you a Grammar Snap video that talks about common and proper nouns, and then we'll go through a little practice activity and then you can practice on your own in Seesaw. So here we go. Let's watch this video first. This is Susan and her pet rabbit. Susan and rabbit are both nouns. You know that nouns name people, places, or things. But did you know there are two types of nouns? Common and proper nouns. A common noun names any person, place, or thing. A proper noun names a certain person, place, or thing. You can tell proper nouns because they always start with a capital letter. Now you know about the two types of nouns. A common noun names any person, place, or thing. A proper noun names a specific person, place, or thing. It is always capitalized. Check out Grammar Stop for more. All right, now that we've watched that video, let me do a little practice activity with you. Okay, so let me make this a little bit bigger for us here so we can see it. We are gonna be talking about names for people, animals, places, and things. And here we have in our box, it says some nouns name special people, animals, places, or things. These special nouns are called proper nouns. Proper nouns begin with capital letters. In the first sentence it says, I see the man and his dog in the garden. And here's my thinking question. My thinking question says, which words name a special person, animal, place, or thing? And so right here you'll notice that we have the words the man and the words his dog underlined in this sentence. Now these are just common, the man and his dog. They aren't names of anything. But if I read the second sentence, we'll notice that now we're going to talk about specific or names of the man and his dog. It says, I see Robert Smith and Bobo in the garden. So now we have turned the common noun, the man and his dog, into proper nouns. The man's name is Robert Smith, the dog's name is Bobo. And you'll notice that Robert and Smith both start with capital letters because that's his first and last name. And you'll notice Bobo starts with a capital letter because that's the name of the dog. Everybody's name starts with a capital letter. So they are proper nouns. Proper nouns always begin with capital letters, just like your name should start with a capital letter. Here's another example at the bottom of the box. I ate a snack at the zoo. Now we have a snack and the zoo underlined. Those are just common nouns. Any snack, any zoo. But we can change that sentence by putting some proper nouns in by saying I ate a fruity pop. That's the name of the snack. At the San Diego Zoo. That's the name of the zoo. So now that we have a specific name of a snack, Fruity Pop, and the specific name of the zoo, San Diego Zoo, you'll notice that we have capital letters on those names of those nouns. So the only time we put capital letters on nouns in the middle of sentences or even at the ends of sentences is because they are names of people, places, and things. Usually we say, oh, only capital letters at the beginning of a sentence. But when you are talking about the name of something or someone, or a place, then you have to put a capital letter in the middle of a sentence or at the end of a sentence because proper nouns always have capital letters. 
So now down here at the bottom, I'm gonna go through how I'm going to write each proper noun correctly. So we'll have to find the proper noun in each sentence, and then I'll do my best finger writing here on the line. So let me get my pen real quick over here to the side so that I can write on our paper here. Okay, so sentence number one says, he gives a flower to Becky Davis. Now, the name that I see in this sentence is Becky Davis. Now, because it is a proper noun, it needs to start with a capital letter. So Becky would start with a capital B, just like I'm doing here on the line, and Davis would start with a capital D. Why am I putting a capital letter on both words? Because both words are part of her name. It is her first and last name. You have a first and last name. You also might have a middle name, or you might even have two parts to your last name. Each one of those names is going to have a capital letter at the beginning. All right, next one. Let me change my color here. Here we go, next one. Sentence number two says, that butterfly is named Flippy. Here is the name that I am looking for in the sentence, the proper noun. Because it is a proper noun, it has to start with a capital letter. So if, instead of having a lowercase f on Flippy, I need to have an uppercase or capital F on Flippy. Because that is the name of that butterfly, it needs to have a capital letter. All right. Number three says, she sees her friends at Madison Elementary School. That is a very long name for an elementary school, but I'm going to underline the whole name. And just like our school, Wagostown Elementary School, each one of these words is going to start with a capital letter. So I'm going to finger write it the best I can here. Madison would start with a capital M. That's the first part of the name of that school. Elementary would start with a capital E because that's still part of the name of the school. It's a funny looking E there, friends, but we can deal with it. Elementary is a long word, and these lowercase E's are getting me, they're looking a little silly, but we understand what it says. And school still has a capital S on it because it is still the name of that school. Okay. All of those words are gonna start with a capital letter. Now, in our next sentence, we have, I know he likes zippy lemon suckers. I am going to underline zippy lemon suckers because that is the name of the snack or treat that this person likes. So because this is all the name of it, each one of these words needs to start with a capital letter. So I'm going to start over here so I have a little bit more space. Zippy's going to start with a capital Z. Lemon's going to start with a capital L. Make my capital L a little bit higher here. And Suckers is going to start with a capital S. All right. And then last but not least, let me get suckers written here. There we go. This is all the name of this treat or this snack, so it all has to start with capital letters. In sentence number five, our last sentence, we have, he and Sally like to pick fruit. Well, here we have the name Sally. Sally is the name of a person, so it needs to start with a capital S. Now, on the rest of the slides as your seesaw activity, you're going to have an activity similar to this. Make sure you listen to those sound recordings so that you follow the directions on each slide. I'll see you again soon, friends. Bye!